I haven't played Kazar Goff in a long time. At the end of your turn, set the left and right most minions held to the high of the two of them. Let's go Rakanishu. I feel like Rakanishu can work here. I feel like Battlegrounds right now is just about mental fortitude. It's about how much you can take and uh, still go up. It's like that Rocky quote. Also, what we could do is sell the, the droplet for plus 2 plus 2 extra to just turbo buff our board. But I don't think that's always the correct play. We'll see. Good luck out there, we'll see how this plays out, okay? I have some ideas. Gipayan says if you play Rakanishu, you're 100% sentenced to top 8. Well, send him the VOD after I win this lobby. I feel like there are some lobbies where Rakanishu can excel. Oh my god in the lobby. Can't get top 8 if oh my god is here. I'm kidding. Oh my god is a long time uh, watcher of this stream. Great guy. Always keeps me in check. If my ego goes a little bit too crazy in one of the days, oh my god, is there to keep me in check. You need people in your life that keep you in check a little bit. I predicted you're gonna get first place because I have faith in you. I mean, first with Rakanishu is a bit complicated, but I'll do my best, okay? The flavor profile we were hoping for, was it? Who the hell gets the buff here? Well, we all start somewhere. For me, it was peaches. I think I should have sold Droplet to heal part the smart life. Ha! Huh, what a funny game. What a funny fight this was. Well, how did it go? I think it's a good pair. I do use Murphy against 8k noobs. I'm not smurfing, I'm on my main account. You can get paired up with 8k players if you're 11k because game prioritizes speed over accuracy. I think that's fine. Also, why are you assuming they're noobs? They might be better than you. Don't disrespect, bro. One, Don't disrespect, nice okay? Inge is pretty the powerful. We were hoping for, was it? I kind of like the seaborn. You face me, you face the sea. Another one. I figured your palette was more refined. Here's your goal. Next time we just level and then heal power the seaborn. And then give the health to the Frostling or something. I want everybody to be high attack, high health. And I want the Tavern 4 to like roll a little bit and play elementals. I'm thinking of Carbonic Copy and how to best utilize it. Yo, hi there, Babbit. How are you doing this season? I personally don't know how to feel about anomalies in general. Like, I love some of them. I hate some of them. It's just probably about personal preference. I haven't heard any player like every anomaly though. Everybody just likes one or two. Or more. <coughs> okay. Yeah, I don't want the refresher, for example. I 
I like anomalies way more than quests, though. Body meta was my favorite, though. Anomalies are fine, I think. And they're at least diverse. Game is very playable. You can just grind, grind, grind. Grind, don't think. So, I'm gonna make the Frostling super big. And I think that's gonna help a lot with the rest of my board. Elementals in general are a nice strategy to play with this anomaly. You have Emergent Flame, you have Carbonic Copy, you have Rakanishu's Hero Power. You can do a lot of dirty plays. Beasts are fine, but... You, I think you rely too much on getting Banana Slamma at the opportune timing. Are we losing? Yeah, we're losing by a bit. Ah. Do you think they can combine bodies with anomalies? Kind of tricky to combine anomalies with anything, but we'll see. Oh, you're back. Find any ingredients out there? I wanna first take a triple and see exactly what I get. New Zao is interesting. I like New Zao. I really like New Zao. Hmm. Yes, and I buy the sparkling. I probably cut a droplet. Maybe I should have hero power the new Zao. Party is really powerful minion now. Maybe too good. So I put all the buffs on the Frostling, so that Frostling gives the health to New Zao. Next time I'll start buffing the New Zao. But you could make the argument that maybe the 4 4 should have went on New Zao, because four attack over uh, ten attack over six is like a lot. That's it. Keep going. You're doing great. What is the meaning of interesting in your lexicon? Does it mean good, bad, promising? It can be either of those. You have to figure it out yourself. It's kind of like a puzzle for you. Back in my constructed days, we were always joking that when a caster said interesting, they meant bad. But in Battlegrounds, I don't know, you can say interesting about a lot of things. Like something you see for the first time. Let's say um, the lobby where you discover prizes with triples. You can say, hmm, interesting. If you ask me, that was well done. <laughs> I don't know if you want to buy every elemental. Which one's right for you? Uh, plus three free on the new Zao? I don't know if that's worth it. Reborn? Reborn is kind of mean. Sally? No Sally. Reborn is interesting. I will level to 5 next turn. Let's buff the party. That's it. Keep going. You're doing great. I feel like all the buffs should go on your Zao now.
always up. There you go. Beat them down like Moki. Disciple or Elise are interesting. I said it again. Uh, I think Elise is probably a freeze. And then a buy. Since we're rolling anyways for good options. She can give us uh, the Divine Shielded uh, 6, the Elemental of Surprise. If I triple party with Elemental of Surprise, there's like a million stats. The chances you hit Surprise are kind of low. Yeah, but I don't see myself leveling to 6. So I have time to take it a few times. Mana off with extra health is also nice. Yuzawa wasn't enough. I mean, Inge is super busted with this anomaly, I think. And with the other one. I don't know why they keep allowing her in. Did I fight? Nice. Find any ingredients out there. Okay. Begins here. Mm, don't want that now. Drag itself not good here. The reward guy is a bit late. Okay. I like the emergent flame. I like the flame, I think. Ah, Carolog is maybe better. Curtis can see you too. Yeah, Carolog might be better. And then I don't think you freeze the flame. I don't think the flame is freeze worthy. Yeah, yeah, this is too good because it's too too to all your board. And I think the stats really add up here. Do you know why they buffed Caroler from plus two plus one now? It's almost an insta buy now. Yeah, it's too good, right? 12 12 in stats. If your minions are good, it's basically two jugs in one. If you lost your previous fight. So if you lose the fight, Caroler is kind of an insta buy. They made some weird decisions. For example, I also think Bramble Witch and the, the six drop Murloc. They show up too often, and they're just too good and almost always worth a buy. But yeah, I guess it's always gonna be like we're gonna have some powerful units in the game. Can't expect every unit to be weak, right? Okay. There you go! Beat them down like Moti! Nice. Oh, so that's, your that's a strategy. huge minion, actually. Relentless. Okay. I like giving Relentless health. I also like the Gladiator, I think. Just a pinch of power in that one. I'll put that back on the shelf for you. Warping sounds really good. More so than Rock Rock. I really like the idea of Warping. And I really like the idea of Morgul. Hmm. Rock Rock gives attack to my minions though, yeah. And that can also be valuable. Let's go Rock. We don't play the Rock now though. Fighting undead. I don't know what your secret ingredient is, but it's working.
party is huge. And I really like more good with extra health because it so likely survives. And then gets the reborn. And then with the reborn, it's an unit. A really powerful annoying unit. We barely won, but that's enough. Okay. If you ask me, that was well done. <laughs> I like Bramble Witch. Bramble is a must. Well, we all have different tastes, I guess. You face the same. Carbonic is good, but I think Bramble is a must. Yes. A bit spicy. <laughs> Let the games begin. Yeah, uh, the Zao needs to get a bit more stats. Little Pants, thank you for the 20 month. I'm a little bit scared of the Bramble Wave. Okay. Okay. Good. Dude, this guy surviving is so annoying for him. Has to be, right? It has to be so annoying. So nice, clean, and effective. Top 3, Rakan issue. I think this lobby has an issue. Second Relentless is super good. We could cut a rock. Why am I putting Nuzawa so late? Because it's small. I need to buff the Nuzawa next turn. But right now I want to buff the Relentless. We buff Relentless first, then we use Relentless to buff the Nuzawa. Or we just cut the Nuzawa, I don't know. It's a small minion, it's lagging behind. That's it, keep going, you're doing great. Just left? Oh, you're back. The fuck? Find any ingredients out there? Did oh my god think he's gonna die and just left?
Gog, you weren't dead. Why did you leave? He joined the stream now and I don't think he realized he wasn't dead. I think he just rage quit, dude. He's like, how? <laughs> Let's go like this. It was a tie, look. It was a tie. It was a tie. That's why you shouldn't rage quit. Nice. By the way, I know what happened with Oh My Gog here. And yeah, I won the lobby with Rakanishio. Uh, Gag was using the other app, not Firestone, and the other app told him that he's always dead, which he wasn't. He managed to get the tie. If Oh My Gag was using Firestone there, he would have seen that he had a chance to survive. Watch the combat until the end, and he would have seen that he's not dead. So I think he should have installed Firestone, utilizing my link, and this would have not happened, okay?